Hello everyone. Uh, in this class, uh, we have to discuss uh, about uh, peptide drug conjugate. Okay. Uh, peptide drug uh, conjugate uh, represent an important class of therapeutic agent. Okay. And uh, these uh, peptide drug conjugate combine one or more drug molecule with a short peptide through a biodegradable uh, uh, linker. And uh, this product uh, drug strategy uh, unique and specifically uh, use the biological activities and uh, self assembling potential of small molecule peptides to improve the treatment efficacy of medicinal plant. Okay. So in this lecture, we have to discuss the recent uh, progress in the design and synthesis of peptide drug conjugates in the context of targeted drug delivery and cancer chemotherapy. And we also discuss here uh, the key design feature in uh, choosing the peptide sequence and linker chemistry for the drug of interest as well as uh, the strategy to optimize the conjugate design. Okay. And uh, we also highlight the recent progress in the design and synthesis of self-assembling peptide drug uh, MV files to construct supramolecular nanomagnesium and nanofiber hydrogel for both systemic and topical delivery of active pharmaceutical ingredient. Okay. Uh, these are the learning objective of today's discussion to know about various water soluble peptide drug conjugate for target drug delivery and to understand fundamental of integral targeted peptide drug conjugate for uh, drug delivery system and to know about one uranium rich peptide drug conjugate uh, to enhance efficacy of therapeutic agent. So first of all we need to know about what is the uh, these, uh, conjugate. Okay. So as you know that the, uh, the primary goal of drug delivery in cancer therapy is to transport sufficient drug to target disease site while minimizing their exposure to healthy tissue and to achieve this uh, there are two strategies that uh, have been extensively exploited and that seeking to alter the pharmacokinetic properties of the drug in some way and the first involves uh, the use of a delivery vehicle. Uh, such as well-defined uh, nanoparticles that encapsulate the drug and uh, dictates the uh, biodistribution through its own physiochemical properties. And the second is the covalent modification of the drug with some small moiety that temporarily uh, mask or limits the drug bioavailability and confer overall desirable uh, pharmacokinetic properties. Okay and uh, and compared to the delivery vehicle approach the pro drug uh, method feature minimized premature drug liberation and few amount of inert material and both of which can uh, lighten the metabolic burden of the patient and in turn enhance the therapeutic efficacy and uh, in light of these advantages and its a somewhat simpler approach, it is uh, perhaps not surprising that many products have been developed and even approved by the FDA. In contrast to the relatively few examples for delivery vehicle approach, uh, in particular antibody drug conjugates such as virin, toximab, vedotin, and adostazoam, Mtasin, okay, have been drawn significant attention as a result of antibody inherently selective binding ability. So that's why the peptide drug conjugate are an emerging class of product uh, formed uh, through the covalent attachment of a specific peptide sequence to a drug via a cleavable linker. And the utilization of peptides allow for the incorporation of a great degree of functionality into a peptide drug conjugate. As the amino acid sequence can be chosen to both control the physiochemical properties of the conjugate and to allow for active targeting of particular receptor on the tumor cell surface. And uh, that's why the uh, Peptide drug conjugates are prepared from amino acids and generally have short peptide length and they are biodegradable and should not elicit undesirable immunogenic response. 
and the diversity of amino acid combination enable the uh, facile preparation of different types of peptide drug consumers and the control over the sequence allow uh, turning of the overall conjugate hydrophobicity and ionization both of which influence the bioavailability uh, in vitro and in vivo and uh, even the no molecular weight peptide drug conjugate allow purification to homogeneity via simple uh, uh, technique of chromatography like HPCA, HPLC and the ability to exert effective control of both molecular weight and purity of synthetic uh, uh, peptide drug conjugate is uh, critical for optimizing the pharmacokinetic of peptide drug conjugate. Okay? So it is very important class of uh, consumers that could be used in a drug uh, 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 delivery. So uh, first of all, we have to discuss what are soluble peptide drug consumers and a common uh, traits among uh, traditional small molecule uh, like anti-cancer drug is that poor uh, solubility in aqueous solution. And to circumvent this problem, uh, HC appliant are often used to solubilize the insoluble drug, but this strategy can introduce new, uh, new problem, uh, such as the added solvent has a uh, toxicity of its own. So, for instance, the use of coliform uh, as an emulsion has been associated with allergic reaction and uh, peripheral uh, neuropathy, among other sides. Even uh, conjugating the anti-cancer drug to a hydrophilic peptide can uh, alleviate uh, this solubility problem and uh, provides the opportunity for the inclusion of great functionality. And uh, that's why uh, we will illustrate uh, the two common utilized peptide types that can enhance uh, drug delivery uh, uh, that include integrin targeting and cell penetrating uh, peptides. Okay. So first of all, we have to discuss integrin targeted peptide drug conjugate. So, uh, so the goal of the delivering chemotherapeutic uh, agent to the disease site with a minimal uh, 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 side effect to the healthy, healthy tissue and minimum damage to the healthy tissue. And uh, effective approach is to consider the difference between the normal tissue and cells and uh, tumorous uh, cells. Uh, since the first uh, point of interaction between any drug of delivery vehicle and a cell is at the exterior surface and any abnormally expressed receptor in cancerous tissue provide a, a focal point for targeted delivery. Okay? So that's why a great diversity of uh, targeting a group can be integrated into the peptide drug conjugate designed to achieve a specific targeting uh, to a particular cell type. Even among uh, such identified uh, receptors, the integrin are widely used uh, since they are essential for the physiological development and uh, maintenance and repair of tissue and uh, feature uh, prominently in the pathological process of various uh, diseases, uh, particularly cancer and accordingly various kinds of integrin uh, targeted peptide drug conjugate uh, have uh, designed uh, in the past uh, two decades. Uh, with the alpha v uh, beta 3 targeting uh, arginine glycine and aspartic acid uh, motif that appearing almost ubiquitously in some form and even uh, this, uh, coupling the free carboxylic group of uh, rg d 4 c uh, to the uh, three days amino position of doxorubicin which is a, a, a chemotherapeutic agent against uh, cancer uh, gave a conjugate that exhibit an enhance uh, in uh, vivo tumor growth, uh, growth and metastasis emission efficacy uh, over uh, free uh, doxorubicin. And even uh, more importantly, the drug uh, appeared to have less uh, toxicity toward the liver and heart than free doxorubicin uh, in uh, ex vivo histopathological assay. Uh, however, uh, they did not clarify if the reported effect originated from the conjugated or the released oxyrubicin. So, in order to achieve the preferential release of drug in cancerous cell, okay, so uh, some of the researchers introduced a metalloproteinase uh, 
killing a male octapeptide between doxorubicin and a divalent uh, peptide uh, peptide um, uh, 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 conjugate and observing significant uh, drug release when uh, compared with their amide uh, Lincoln uh, counterparts. However, the uh, conjugate exhibited no, uh, not only moderate anti-tumor efficacy uh, at uh, relatively low dose. Uh, however, it requires a higher dose to exert any uh, significant effect. So the low efficacy may result from insufficient drug release since uh, free doxorubicin could not be recovered until further post cleavage hydrolysis occurred. And uh, beside doxorubicin, the uh, PLC tech cell also uh, used uh, that conjugate uh, with the integrin targeting uh, peptide. Okay. Uh, that uh, display a comparable in vivo anti cancer effect to the free uh, drug. And even uh, uh, some of the other examples include uh, the uh, like uh, the uh, PTX and TPT, which are typically converted to the peptide through uh, ester bond formation, whereas doxorubicin occurs uh, through amide bond formation. So, uh, since amide bond are significantly more stable to the hydrolysis than ester, and a uh, drug uh, conjugated via ester will uh, degrade more uh, readily in a physiological environment to release the free drug. And the release of amide conjugated drug therefore requires additional uh, complexity or an alternative strategy. And uh, next one is guanidinium uh, rich peptide drug conjugate. Okay. So, uh, in nature, you know, uh, biological barriers are essential for all living systems uh, that serving to isolate the intracellular structure from uh, potentially harmful environments and uh, pathogens. Although they are vital to survival and the inherent exclusivity uh, can limit or uh, preclude the uptake of a variety of uh, drugs. Even uh, one important area in the drug delivery research is finding solutions that enhance the internalization capability of drugs. And in early research on uh, that topic, most of the study aim to find or develop drugs uh, having a suitable hydrophilic hydrophobic balance uh, that would allow uh, them to cross the non polar uh, membrane of cell. And typically, this would involve the adjustment of drug uh, physical properties in order to optimize its low uh, p value, uh, where uh, p is the partition coefficient and a measure of the drug uh, uh, lipophilicity. Uh, in actuality, uh, this is a time consuming and low performance uh, price uh, ratio task. Uh, however, the concentrating effort on the manipulating of the drug. Uh, some of the researchers uh, uh, devoted great effort to finding an entirely new pathway for entry uh, and by understanding these uh, new uh, natural barriers and uh, developing tool or strategy uh, to uh, combat them and uh, the identification of arginine rather than lysine and uh, their number are uh, special array uh, is the essential feature uh, that allow the rapid cellular uptake of uh, peptide uh, uh, which is a, a key discovery by the time, and uh, and even some other uh, worker uh, develop a uh, guanidinium rich molecular transporter and uh, demonstrated uh, their use in a variety of applications. Uh, like a cyclic peptide cyclosporin A was uh, chosen as the drug candidate uh, because uh, it is uh, uh, effective against uh, several skin disorder. Uh, but cause of uh, target toxicity when delivered uh, systematically. Uh, by itself, uh, uh, this uh, cyclosporin A uh, does not uh, penetrate the skin and so to uh, surmount this uh, problem, uh, they conjugated a heptamer of arginine to a, uh, this uh, cyclosporin A through a pH sensitive linker to produce uh, the uh, peptide the conjugate. Okay? So that's why uh, it definitely uh, enhances the efficacy of the drug to the target organ. And the next is the theranostic peptide uh, drug conjugate. So all the peptide and drug conjugate have proven uh, successful in, uh, in improving the efficacy of uh, free drug. And the challenge of elucidating uh, how and when the conjugated drugs are released 
uh, after cell internalization demand. So in uh, order to monitor this important uh, process, the fluorescent probe can be incorporated uh, into the peptide direct conjugate. Uh, however, uh, conventional fluorescent uh, molecules uh, usually uh, suffer from aggregation that induce quenching and a notorious effect that impose uh, limitations on their uh, labeling efficacy or concentration to achieve the desired sensitivity. And uh, recently, even uh, uh, fluorogens did an aggregation uh, induced emission uh, feature offer a uh, timely remedy to take in this uh, challenge and uh, incorporating uh, these aggregated uh, aggregation induced emission uh, fluorogens into the light up crop offer a number of advantage over conventional uh, method always on a crop uh, and including low background interference uh, with a high uh, single to noise ratio and uh, superior photo stability with uh, activable uh, therapeutic effect okay so uh, in combination with the peptide drug conjugate it can offer a powerful method of determining in vitro drug release characteristics and before constructing these uh, theranostic conjugates uh, the some of the uh, researchers uh, tested the optical properties of tetraphenylene uh, conjugate uh, with a different number of hydrophilic amino acid uh, like aspartic acid to reveal the importance of peptide design upon adjusting to uh, fluorescence of these conjugate and uh, the result shows that a minimum of five uh, uh, residue was required to turn off the fluorescence of this conjugate so on the basis of this uh, critical finding a theranostic probe with a platinum based product for uh, tracking a drug delivery released in targeted cells and uh, subsequent imaging of apoptosis induced by drug activation was uh, designed and uh, specifically the uh, two axial position of platinum prodrug were functionalized with the uh, alpha beta integrin targeting peptide and crgd and an apoptosis sensor composed of the uh, tetraphenyl acetylol and a uh, case pass enzyme specific uh, including aspartate glutamic acid valine and aspartic acid uh, tetrapeptide and upon selective uptake of uh, by integrin over express cells, the probe was uh, reduced by producing agents such as ascorbic acid and glutathione uh, reductase to yield uh, separated uh, TPS, DE, uh, VD, and platinum uh, conjugates. And the released toxic uh, platinum species induced apoptosis in the cells, leading to an increased expression of case pass that activated the TPS, uh, DE, uh, VD prop to yield a light up response. So in addition, the process induced fluorescence in the, uh, intensity in the U87 uh, MG hemon uh, glioblastoma cancer cell uh, showed a good uh, correlation with the prodrug concentration and the cell viability. And this result indicated uh, that the theranostic drug delivery uh, system with a width in apoptosis uh, sensor allowed to evaluate the effectiveness of the drug delivery and associated therapeutic response quickly uh, which is essential for guiding therapeutic uh, decisions such as whether the treatment is successful or not okay so that's why it is very uh, useful uh, in the uh, targeted uh, drug uh, delivery okay. and another uh, types of conjugate we have to discuss uh, self-assembling peptide drug conjugate <coughs> So the design of peptide drug conjugates was initially intended to take advantage of short hydrophilic peptide uh, to improve the solubility and to provide additional functionality uh, like the use of cell penetrating peptide to circumvent multi-drug resistance. Yeah, okay. So uh, the uh, combination of low molecular uh, weight hydrophobic drug and hydrophilic peptide segment uh, can uh, waste overall amphiphilicity and introducing a tendency for self aggregation in aqueous environments. And this one, under uh, undesired conjugation induced assembly, is now receiving rapidly growing interest in the drug delivery community, and uh, particularly with uh, regard to gaining control over the assembly process. So, uh, so here we have to discuss uh, the development of self-assembling peptide drug conjugate. 
that harness the potential of self assembly for the uh, creation of nano vehicle that enable direct delivery by a multiple mode of uh, uh, trans uh, transmission okay so uh, so in this sequence we have to discuss here supra molecular nano fiber hydrogel so uh, as you know that hydrogel are an important class of biomaterial for drug delivery due to their sustained uh, drug release capability and uh, unlike the easiest phase of research in uh, that field uh, which shed light on polymer based hydrogel whose uh, network comprised covalently cross linked natural or synthetic polymer and uh, most attention is now paid to supramolecular hydrogel uh, that formed by the aqueous assembly of no molecular weight g letters uh, through non covalent interaction and several unique merits uh, are uh, apparent like uh, uh, synthetic economy uh, biocompatibility low toxicity inherent biodegradability okay so uh, in addition to there is change in temperature ph and strength can successfully trigger the formation of supramolecular hydrogel and uh, the advantage uh, uh, make uh, supramolecular hydrogel a promising alternative to uh, polymeric hydrogel so among uh, the molecules that can act as the building block for supramolecular hydrogel the peptide based hydrogelators are common candidates uh, because of their biological relevance and their well established synthetic chemistry and the capacity to derive a, a diverse range of functionality from uh, a relatively small array of amino acid okay so uh, since uh, there are uh, a notable change in uh, stimuli can induce uh, gel formation and it is advantageous uh, to use inherent uh, biological processes uh, to create a supramolecular hydrogen uh, in vivo and uh, in situ uh, for certain biomedical application so uh, uh, there are uh, some of the example uh, we have to discuss here like uh, the uh, researcher has to develop a range of peptide amplified uh, file uh based hydrogel for biomedical application and uh and recently utilized uh, this for drug delivery and uh, they conjugated the anti inflammatory drug um, enabumaton to peptide amplifiers through hydrogen bond uh, they found uh, this conjugate could form a gel that would release uh, enabumaton in the low ph environment of the tumor and uh, more uh, interestingly they also expanded this strategy Uh, to uh, deliver a uh, dexamethasone uh, which is a molecule uh, uh, and uh, that self assembled in water into the supramolecular nano fiber uh, when uh, mixed with a, a similar uh, uh, pa making the drug conjugate and the addition of calcium salt to screen electrostatic repulsion between nano fiber uh, prompted a gel formation that uh, nano fiber gel demonstrates sustained release of soluble uh, dexamethasone for over uh, one month in physiological media and the release dexamethasone maintained its anti inflammatory activity in vitro and in vivo for a long time and uh, some of the researchers also are uh, also developed to conju- uh, uh, conjugates Uh, a a selvo chromic dye six propionyl to dimethyl uh, amino naphthalene at the different position of the peptide segment of peptide uh, amplifier so the conjugate uh, so this uh, conjugate regardless of its conjugation uh, site did not hamper the uh, pa uh, from uh, forming supramolecular hydrogel and their drug release uh, study revealed that all the um, all the uh, protein bearing nano fiber uh, hydrogen uh, have the uh, near zero order release kinetics but uh, with a different release uh, half life depending on the conjugation position so uh, definitely this study demonstrated a conjugation strategy for control uh, drug release uh, release profile for uh, peptidic hydrogen and it is uh, uh, worth nothing however uh, that in uh, these example the drug uh, does not play a critical role in the assembly process uh, merely acting as the cargo while the peptide amplifier uh, dictate the nano structure formation
and another uh, type of uh, conjugates are supramolecular uh, nano structure and uh, uh, these are the effective treatment uh, of both primary and secondary uh, stage cancer require the systemic delivery of drug to ensure exposure of all sites to the anti cancer agent and uh, molecular hydrogel possess many advantages for local delivery and treatment of the prior uh, primary tumor uh, but uh, cannot efficiently uh, affect any metastatic tumor that may have formed prior to the treatment and a nano structure based strategy to this issue is uh, the covalent modification of drug in such a way uh, as to form discrete nano structures that can uh, remain solvent without further hierarchical assembly and uh, early pioneer work by uh, co wear and co worker on lipid conjugated nucleotides that could form nano particles and uh, later work by the other researchers uh, that attach hydrophilic moiety to the hydrophobic drug uh, which shows the promise that uh, this approach possesses uh, the and uh, uh, utilize the drug as a molecular building block for construction of their own delivery vehicle uh, they have to offer an advantage over uh, typical uh, physical encapsulation and polymer conjugation method. Okay, and however, a number of issues were apparent, uh, such as the need for organic solvent in the assembly process. Okay, and the lack of control that give uh, gives over the assembly pathway and the resulting nanostructure leading to a wide variation in properties. Uh, such as particle size and shape. Even uh, some of the workers have reported a novel uh, class of peptide drug conjugates that can form nano structure through a uh, true uh, self assembly pathway. So, these peptide drug conjugates, termed uh, as drug amplifiers, okay, are formed by covalently conjugating one or more anti cancer drugs and uh, to a rationally designed uh, uh, peptide through a biodegradable linker. And the peptide in the uh, resultant conjugate act uh, as the functionally, uh, functionally active and guiding unit, uh, which uh, module uh, the uh, amplifies uh, drug amplifies uh, to form a variety of uh, supramolecular morphology in aqueous uh, solution. Okay. And even uh, uh, some of the results also uh, report uh, the. Uh, a higher efficiency of uh, drug delivery by the use of these uh, drug uh, conjugates and uh, drug release is an important factor in a, any drug delivery and these uh, these drug conjugates are no exception to this while the uh, these drug conjugates described uh, uh, in this uh, discussion exhibit a good overall thiocyte toxicity uh, reduced activity in comparison with the free uh, free uh, cpt uh, was apparent uh, with a likely explanation being uh, retarded release of the active drug from the nano structure and to then more insights in uh, to this process and some of the researchers also perform a more uh, mechanistic uh, study into the uh, gsh induced release of uh, cpt okay and they found that the uh, compromised cytotoxicity of these conjugate with a disulfur uh, sulfuryl uh, butyrate linker uh, resulted from the nanostructure prompted formation of CPT disulfide dimers intermediates uh, due to the effective high uh, local concentration of the beta sheet aggregates. So, the, <clears throat> the hydrophobic uh, nature of these uh, disulfide dimers uh, protected them from aqueous uh, hydrolysis uh, through association with the remaining nanostructures or by the self aggregation uh, thereby preventing the rapid generation of the free drug okay and uh, even a carbonate based analog eliminate the possibility of dimerization through uh, an intramolecular degradation pathway and uh, restoring most of the drug activity and another factor that can influence the drug release is that of steric hindrance either with uh, regard to the nanostructure that acting as a barrier or uh, within a monomeric units themselves. So, uh, even some of the uh, researchers also uh, developed the degree of drug conjugate per peptide could also regulate the uh, drug release in addition to its apparent effect on uh, drug loading of the resulting conjugate. Okay. 
even one or two or four docosahexaenoic molecules were covalently linked to the cell penetrating peptide uh, through a uh, uh, through a cat b degradable tetra peptide linker uh, that offer three different uh, uh, drug conjugate and they found that uh, number of docosahexaenoic didn't make conjugate largely impact the release of docosahexaenoic molecule and uh, showing the slowest release rate uh, okay as compared to the conventional one so interestingly cellular uptake experiment revealed that uh, these uh, drug conjugate accumulated most uh, effectively uh, within cancer cell okay as compared to the conventional uh, drug okay so uh, so uh, uh, conclusion is that uh, we have uh, uh, see uh, two main group of peptide drug conjugate that differ in their uh, state even uh, molecular or self assembled uh, uh, peptide drug conjugate are the examples that uh, we have to discuss uh, in this uh, lecture and uh, and these are the peptide drug conjugate that have tremendous potential in the drug delivery Uh, with the aid of peptides and the targeted uh, delivery of drug to a uh, particular sites uh, is it possible and uh, even active targeting or passive targeting can be used uh, by uh, in case of uh, peptide drug conjugate and can even allow more uh, effective internalization into cell and once the conjugate is the lesion site target site it uh, can uh, liberate of the drug through uh, stimuli specific cleavage of a linker in a control uh, manner uh, and or uh, and also self assembling peptide conjugates offer further advantage over their uh, water soluble molecular counterparts as their nano structure uh, nature uh, allow for alternative uh, modes of administration Uh, into uh, either would be local uh, topical or systemic and uh, provide the means to tune the uh, physiochemical properties through uh, manipulation of the surface chemistry and even uh, self assembly peptide drug conjugate uh, represent a, a logical connection uh, from small uh, molecules to drug uh, to uh, nano medicine and uh, and even uh, reminiscent of antibody drug conjugate to a great extent the design of self assembling uh, peptide drug conjugate to provide a more flexible uh, platform in the optimization of pharmacokinetics that uh, than that of the uh, uh, other uh, types of conjugate so uh, peptide drug conjugate are easy to synthesize and can be scaled up to and purified to homogenize uh, easily as compared to the other other types of nano structure and uh, this would allow for post effective mass production and uh, and even a molecular assembly provided tool box to a uh, fine uh, time and uh, not only the physiochemical properties of the resulting nano medicine uh, but uh, also the release of uh, release rate of the therapeutic agent from the assembled structure and even uh, uh, even uh, this uh, nano structure uh, component including both the peptide moiety and the therapeutic agent can be potentially uh, metabolized except for the intended use for non natural amino acid to uh, circumvent uh, premature degradation or even take advantage of their unique biological role and uh, given the clinical uh, success of anti uh, of these uh, drug conjugate Uh, antibody drug conjugate we have many reason to uh, envision a promising future of peptide drug conjugate for clinical translation uh, and even uh, there uh, might be to potential hurdle for uh, successful translation of peptide drug conjugate into uh, the uh, nano medicine the first the bio compatibility of peptide based assembly should be uh, better decided and it is clear that peptide made of natural amino acid are completely biodegradable in its water soluble form and uh, are unless uh, specifically designed uh, to achieve immunological or other biological response uh, and uh, even peptides are gen uh, uh, generally um, uh, biocompatible and do not uh, possess adverse response and even do not generate adverse response and uh, however 
uh, the less understood if the peptide assembly uh, could uh, preserve the biocompatibility and the uh, bio, uh, biodegradability of the unassembled uh, molecules, uh, particularly for those uh, containing uh, beta sheets, uh, given uh, their similarity to, uh, to the amyloid fibrins. And although there are some uh, studies uh, that suggest the biocompatibility of peptide materials, and more effort are necessary to further elucidate their uh, degradability and uh, generic uh, safety and even all the transient metabolites and their potential uh, toxicity should be identified and uh, manifested and even the uh, their efficacy of self-assembling of peptide drug conjugate need to be uh, demonstrated and uh, improved and uh, and even improved efficacy over the current uh, standard of treatment uh, is a, a prerequisite for uh, FDA approval, WHO approval, even uh, many uh, nanomedicine platforms that are currently under uh, development and the self assembling uh, peptide drug conjugate need to demonstrate improved uh, efficacy or increased uh, response rate uh, in uh, treating devastating disease uh, like cancer. And uh, therefore, uh, there are many ch challenges such as uh, a specific targeting to the disease site, uh, overcoming the multidegradation mechanism, uh, control release of the therapeutic agent. Uh, and uh, so this issue um, uh, can be addressed only uh, within the development of uh, transformative, adaptive, and, uh, and even uh, multiple uh, responsive peptide drug conjugate system. And uh, most of the uh, example of uh, for the drug delivery uh, are only responsive to a single stimuli, uh, and even have limited ability to overcome the multiple biological barrier and uh, route to the tumor site. Uh, thus, it is uh, reasonable to anticipate that is in, uh, in the near future uh, we will uh, witness the development of a self assembled system uh, responsive to multiple orthogonal stimuli. Uh, that harness the abundant and unique stimulus feature in the tumor microenvironment and even further optimization of these conjugates as well as the translation from a uh, lab research uh, project to the clinical trials is also essential and uh, will continue in near uh, future and uh, as the treatment of human patients and their well-being remain the ultimate goal of these uh, nano medicine so uh, that's why uh, it is uh, very essential uh, to uh, develop self -assemb uh, assembly and its uh, biological function have been uh, convincingly validated how the morphology of self assembled nanostructure affecting their biological performance okay so uh, so the morphology of nanomaterial can uh, markedly uh, influence their pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic property uh, of these uh, peptide drug conjugate in vivo so uh, that's why uh, the, uh, the fibrous nanostructure uh, exhibit 10 times uh, uh, longer blood circulation than their spherical counterparts. Even uh, some of the uh, researcher has to develop a method to prove that in situ formation of morphology uh, defined uh, self assembly in tumor uh, tumors uh, might effectively improve their bioavailability and treatment outcomes. Okay. So that's why, uh, so, uh, that's why uh, some of the researchers has to uh, design a responsive small molecule precursor uh, that was uh, composed of uh, uh, therapeutic agent as the functional uh, molecule with the uh, peptide, okay, small peptide as the enzyme responsive peptide linker uh, as the targeting ligand. And their result shows that uh, the uh, prepared uh, peptide drug conjugate could readily diffuse uh, extra waste and target cancer cell with overexpressed uh, integrin. So after the uh, uh, gelatinase induced uh, cleavage of uh, the PNG uh, linker, nanofiber form spontaneously and uh, exhibit the assembly uh, induced uh, retention effect. Uh, which uh, results uh, in an improved uh, photoacoustic uh, imaging signal and enhanced uh, therapeutic efficacy and uh, they believe that uh, uh, this uh, effect uh, based on the assembly of uh, supramolecular structure in a uh, living uh, system might uh, have the way to developing novel functional uh, nano material for the cancer diagnostic and uh, therapeutics.
and now this is the reference and uh, now you have to attempt a uh, quiz so the first question is ketosin based in nail metal are widely used for so it can either use for the buccal intestinal and nasal so the correct option is d and alginate have properties like anionic meco adhesive polymer carboxyl group and greater meco adhesive state so the option d is correct and the functional group responsible for stabilization of nanoparticles so all that these group are uh, required for stabilization of nanoparticles and the functional uh, group are identified by the uh, Fourier transform infrared spectroscopy so option a is correct and spherical nanoparticle that prepared of the lipid binder is called liposome and uh, the optimization of nanoparticle synthesis involves various factors like pH, temperature and concentration so that's why the option D is correct and nanoparticle have characteristic feature uh, due to their high surface uh, to volume ratio so the option D is correct and nanoparticle synthesized by green synthesis are uh, include uh, the bottom, bottom up approach or uh, the, uh, the direct uh, peptide recognition also involve bottom up approach and gentamon uh, has high molecular weight heteropolysaccharide that produced by the gentamonas compressed trees and it has polyanionic polysaccharide and has a good bioadhesive property so the option D is correct and green synthesis of nanoparticles can be done by the all of them by the bacteria, fungi and plants so the option D is correct okay so uh, thank you everyone